Jojo, my Bob. Jojo, I built Jody. Define Jojo, your Jody. genetic structure. Pick your fur type. Choose your fur style. Pick your main color. Choose your detail color. That will work. Adventure is in the air, despite the heat from the ground below, where ashes of fire wait to be woken. Oh no, they got you! Reeled in and off to a bad start! Tribes are out for scrumpy scrap. Your whifflin is up next. A tribe hug a war there. I bet you can give it just that. Your melee super wushu is ready to go. Everything to bits. The tribes caught a fluffy hulk. Better watch out, it's no pet. Everything to this. I knew it had saved the thing she was down. The Hulk's on the loose! Wushu is ready to go! That emergency kit is from the old days when you needed to pack a punch to survive. Wow, bet that knock makes a tight fist. Like this, still carry echoes from the past. Mm -hmm. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Choo choo! Big ones fall harder. The chug yard, where they parked the choo-choos and fueled them up. <laughs> it's one of the few places that's aged well. It used to look like a dump. It's easy to walk the line when your karma is in balance. Spilled liquid soap is always a slippery slope. 
Who'd expect that? A bubble wobble big enough to go bang! A tribe flip flonker will throw you in at the deep end given the chance. This box once tailed a chugger chugger. Now it's just off track. Tribes always scaving. Big and bad. Bunch of bunk, busy ram banging the door. This is your chance. Long Super Wushu is all wound up. the limit. Now, let's take this back to Earth. Wow, you really took that all the way down to the end. In flames. It's a wonder some of these up and down still work. Guess they built machines better in the past. I need to brush up on my Wando, but I think he says he's surprised the tribe got a sprocket off ground. I have a feeling he believes it was you that caused the bang at the yard. Not sure he's happy about that. Anyways, he says you owe him one, and he has something in mind. He's almost done with his latest creation, a Mecton. He just needs a little more scrap to get all the pieces fixed stuck. Why, why, not talk? Please, don't ask him too many questions. Wando is an old language, and the last time I heard it was in the old village. I think he likes you. From what I can tell, he wants to strike a deal. He also says you owe him one. He can't leave his underyard, so if you help him salvage the scrap he needs from an old skronk just outside, he'll let you take the Mecton for a ride into the dead zone. They're short of breath and death to this zone. Better take care. He who half breathes, half lives. For those that work metal, scrap from mech skronks like this are heavyweight.
There are only a few reasons our world is dying, and all of them could have been avoided. Patiently waiting for prey to meet the dead oil service. The grease monkey's mechton is built sturdy, just like himself. Can you imagine how this place used to look before the dead oil flood? In the old world, roads like this really led somewhere. Now, most of them lead to disaster. about this, it goes all the way down to the stuff. Start like a snack and you'll end with a ride down the intestinal canal. That's too close to the end station. Up in the way, will be swept out the power you are looking for. From this point on, there's no way forward but going back in. Close to the end station. Better move on. Up and away. Or be swept out the bowel way. What you see? It's what's on the inside that counts. That meaty Taurus is already off beat. End it. The Taurus is pumping at half a beat. You know what to do. One plague ends, hope for a new beginning lives on. The Tree of Life still stands, with the fate of the world in your hands. Question is, will you continue to defend it, or end it? Guess we'll just have to wait to find out. Your genetic structure. Pick your fur, choose your fur style. Pick your main color.
choose your detail color. Good choice. Adventure is in the air. Despite the toxic smog hidden beneath the twigs and branches below. Oh no, they got you! Reeled in and off to a bad start. Tribes are out for scronky scrap. Your whifflin is up next. A tribe tug a war there. Bet you can hit just that. Tribes caught a fluffy hulk. Better watch out, it's no pet. A big battle. Made that I knew it. They couldn't be shot. One hulk is the loose. Super Wushu is ready to go! That emergency kit is from the old days when you needed to pack a punch to survive. Wow, bet that knock makes a tight fist. Things like this still carry echoes from the past. Made that one dead. The chug yard, where they parked the choo choos and fueled them up. <laughs> It's one of the few places that's aged well. It used to look like a dump. It's easy to walk the line when your karma is in balance. Spilled liquid soap is always a slippery slope. Who'd expect that? A bubble bubble big enough to go bang. A tried flip flonker will throw you in at the deep end given the chance. This box once tailed a chugger chugger. Now it's just off track. Tribes always scavenging for scrap, but they should have stuck the looting instead of playing around. One of the bunkers busy ran banging the door. This is your choice. Oh, 
whole mushroom is locked and loaded. Blows up in your face. Yes, you can do anything. Only the sky is the limit. Now, let's take this back to Earth. Wow, you really took that all the way down to the end. In flames. It's a wonder some of these up and down still work. Guess they built machines better in the past. All aboard, Gizmo. I need to brush up on my Wando, but I think he says he's surprised the tribe got a sprocket off ground. I have a feeling he believes it was you that caused the bang at the yard. Not sure he's happy about that. Anyways, he says you owe him one, and he has something in mind. He's almost done with his latest creation, a Mechton. He just needs a little more scrap to get all the pieces fixed stuck. Why, why, not talk? Please, don't ask him too many questions. Wando is an old language, and the last time I heard it was in the old village. Ho-pong, pippy Lou. I think he likes you. From what I can tell, he wants to strike a deal. He also says you owe him one. Ho-pong, pippy Lou. He can't leave his underyard, so if you help him salvage the scrap he needs from an old skronk just outside, he'll let you take the Mechton for a ride into the dead zone. They're short of breath and death to this zone. Better take care. He who half breathes, half lives. For those that work metal, scrap from mech scronks like this are heavyweight. There are only a few reasons our world is dying, and all of them could have been avoided. The muck pumps are slime, patiently waiting for prey to reach the dead oil surface. The grease monkey's mechton is built sturdy, just like himself. Can you imagine how this place used to look before the dead oil flood? In the old world, roads like this really led somewhere. Now, most of them lead to disaster. That's a jumbo puff with an atom. Need no fast. Better put an end to it before it ends. 
Feeling about this goes all the way down to the stump. Start like a snack and you end with a ride down the intestinal canal. That's too close to the end station. running this video, nice. I'm yeah, sorry about working. that. That's absolutely uh, fine. Yeah, so the big thing here is like, the visual look is in tandem with the attributes. Oh, so cool. you see on the left hand side here, uh, you have kind of this DNA wheel. Uh, so there's five corners, strength, attributes, uh, for example, intelligence, uh, vitality, that's your health, health region. So they all, if you see on the right hand side, they own certain statistics. Uh, but that's in tandem then with the look of your character. So not only do you change the visual look, but it also change the stats related to that look. So a big head 
you get smart. Uh, Funny and, that. Yeah, <laughs> and smartness is used then to psionic abilities, for example. So it gives you more powerful mental abilities, your kind of X-Men abilities. Because we don't only have biomutations that are the physical ones, we also have the mental X-Men style abilities. So you also, as you can see, have full control over your fur style, all the coloring, etc. So we have, it's, it's not only about the stats, it's also about personalizing your look. You can also play as female which is very interesting. That's good, uh, I like that, yep. being girl myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, and later on in the game, you can actually recode your DNA again and change it, and obviously you can also upgrade your stats. It's a full, full blown RPG in the background, so you can use your level up points to assign to the different attribute groups. Yep. Talked about that, 500,000 possible combinations My the first God. year that we did that. So, as you see here, this is from the demo, we're just randomizing weapon parts, just to give you an idea of what combinations are kind of possible. But in the real game, you're actually putting together all of these bits yourself. So, in terms of combinations, each, each weapon type uh, determines kind of the way that a weapon shoots. So, you can have shotgun style, assault rifle style, revolver style. You can have a single-handed weapon, dual wheel, two single-handed, but you yes. can also wear a two-handed weapon, right? Uh, all of the bits come in different materials, they come in different qualities, and you can also ha uh, add affixes to it. And affix is like, a, for example, a cryogenic module that will now enable the weapon to shoot frost bullets, for example. Uh, another thing with our game is that you are not grinding for ammunition. Uh, we wanted you to be able to have that free-flowing style of being able to shoot almost at any time you want. Uh, the way that we control that or give you the opportunity to actually upgrade the weapon is uh, by the size of the clips. So the bigger size, the more bullets you can fire before you go out of ammo and you have a short period of cooldown, which also varies them from bit to bit. So that's, that's range weapons. Nice. Uh, different uh, types of melee weapons, so hack, slash, pierce, crush. Uh, same thing here, Ouch. two uh, single-handed, two single-handed dual weeding, or like this one, uh, it's a two-handed weapon. Uh, again, here's your bi-contaminated affix, so that fix will make enemies puke. And it also, they take damage over time. Uh, so you get a little bit more uh, time window to actually take them out. Same thing goes for them. They are existing in different qualities, different materials, and also then put the modules on that. So there's quite a lot to, you know, player or create player creativity, player freedom here to create their own variants of, of, of weapons. That's great, that's amazing. Yeah. So obviously you want the perfect world. These uh, pools uh, spread up across the open world, so you can find them and that's where you can actually unlock, upgrade and gain new physical mutations, hence bio mutations. Uh, in order to do that, you have to have bio points and you get them by defeating these uh, infected bio-contaminated creatures called morks. Uh, for each morgue you defeat, you get a bio point, but also they're quite dangerous because they're uh, contaminated and they infect you. So types of uh, mutations you will get, like big crab pinchers on, on your back, you'll be able to pinch people, lift them up, throw them away, but you can also get like a mutated shoulder that you can reflect bullets on enemies if they shoot at you, and there, there's quite a, a few of them that you can mix into your arsenal of creative combat, but also traversal. Mm -hmm. The other strain of, of, of mutations is uh, what we call psionic mutations, so your X-Men mutations. You gain uh, those, upgrade, unlock those by finding bunkers uh, beneath the world, surface of the world, uh, where it's old radioactive broken down machines. So kind of Bruce Banner going yep. yeah, and the Hulk. Hulking so out. you can see here the poor, poor character is being exposed to radioactivity. It's a little bit painful. Yeah. I'm looping it here also, so oh, it becomes yeah, more course. extreme. Yeah. Uh, but that's how you unlock those type of X-Men type of abilities. Uh, I want to show you a few of these. Like, So this is kind of a, a bubble, a mental sphere. But in our game, it's not a force field. It's more like a soap bubble uh, or a gel bubble. And again, you see that they're shooting at him. It's reflecting bullets. But what happens if you mix that with an ability, for example, like this one, levitate? So now you are levitating inside that gel bubble. Amazing. So what happens if you land? I'll leave that to you to uh, figure it out. Bad things happen to the people you're fighting? I oh, see. Maybe you're bouncing. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> you know, you. So again, we're trying to figure out whimsical, cool ways for the player to explore and, and mix and match things. Uh, here's another then, telekinesis. Also an X-Men type of ability. Yes, gold uh, gene gray, definitely. You can lift different things. Let it, to, let it up to the player to figure out what you can lift mm -hmm. and how you can combine that with the other uh, powers in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to touch on the third leg of this, even if people yeah. don't have three legs, but <laughs> animals walk on four, so exactly. maybe that's yeah. cool. So it's bionics, so it's like prosthetic enhancements to the character. And they're, they're a mix between 
things that you can use in combat, as we see in this video as well. Uh, later on, I'll show you that, sorry. And then this video is more about exploration. Uh, I saw the bow, that's what I was reacting oh, to. Yeah. That. But in, in this clip, I'm actually showing you how you can use the bionic bow for traversal. So I'm shooting an arrow into the mountainside, and I think this is the only game I know where you actually can grab the arrow after you shoot it and follow it through the that's air. That's Legolas stuff right like there. <laughs> yeah. That I'm doing here on the Levitate, because here it's actually using it as an area of effect mm -hmm. damage type of thing. And obviously a power fist. Definitely. Why not? You've got to be able to hit things super hard. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, we're trying to give you as much as possible in terms of an arsenal of, of creative. Fine. So we're talking about different biomes. So we haven't shown a lot of those biomes. Mm -hmm. There's currently seven different, like distinctly different looking areas mm -hmm. in the world. And you saw the, a glimpse of the first one here in the background of this furry creature. They all have kind of different creatures, different type of enemies, and also the key characters that you can meet in the world. There's a number of them. Mm -hmm. They are also obviously then spread out across the world. We also see that in this video that we have a dynamic weather system, but also seasonal system. Uh, and this is not only as visual, you see he's running across the ice here. And again, traversing the world. This is one way that we're gating you. So for example, it becomes cold, right? What happens to water? So before you see that he can't really swim. You see in, in one of these clips here, mm -hmm. <laughs> he's, he's, he's sprawling it's like really a working, dog. Yeah. So you can swim for shorter uh, stretches, uh, but what happens when the water freezes? So maybe you then can access other areas of the world that you couldn't before. We also see he's running from oil here. So part of the story in the world is that it's, like I said, it's currently being uh, going under, right? Mm -hmm. And part of that is...